yeah started recording let's start so <clears throat> today also we're going to discuss more about vpc peering only let's recollect what we did yesterday okay so yesterday what we did I have created one. Sorry, I have created three VPCs, three different VPC. I've never connected all of them. I've connected two of them and tested it. We have created. East one, right? This is the region, and okay. So, what I did, I have connected peer connection between, I have established peer connection between these two, and I placed one VM here, another VM here, and tested the connectivity for both okay if you recollect everything what we tested is within the same building or within the same region only might be they have placed in a different availability zones availability zone one two three four five six right so might be those two servers are placed in different availability zones means different buildings within the city but everything under one region. So this kind of pairing you call it as inter VPC pair. Okay. Inter VPC pairing. There is one more concept called let's say I have one more region altogether. Okay, let's take another region. Go to console US West one. Okay, US West one. Can I create a VPC inside the VS West one? Yes, right. And can I create a subnet? Okay. And I can place the VM. Right. So how you will connect to this VM? Again, you'll have internet gateway here. And your request will go via internet gateway. And you will access the machine. Okay. Now, imagine. I want to establish pairing connection between these two VPCs. This is VPC in East US 1. This is VPC in West US 1. I want to establish pairing, pairing connection between these two. Okay. What you call it as intra VPC pairing. Okay, quickly, we will not take much time. I am not going to build the whole setup. I am going to build only this much. Only this much. Means one VPC in East US 1, another VPC in West US 1, and establish the pairing connection. Okay, we will test this quickly. And also, once this is done, we need to discuss what is the scenario, real time scenario for this. We are, we are connecting both the VPCs and we are just pinging and saying it is it is now working. Yesterday we tested something and today we are going to test another VPC pairing. But where we where we will use this scenario? In which situation you will create these kind of <coughs> pairings? That we will discuss afterwards. Okay, so let me quickly start. VPC in 
needs to is So parallelly, I'm trying to This is difficult, man. You need to practice it. Okay, it's hard. I will <coughs> will try it out. Okay. Anyway, we we are going to practice it after afterwards. So the re the only reason is. Um, Now EC2 instance, EC2 instance of these two are <coughs> connecting. So these kind of stuff you can simply place it on Visio. <coughs> Let me practice it and if, if I get some hands on definitely I'll show you. Fine. So what is the aim? This is one subnet. Uh, if you want you can create another subnet. Two subnets here and one subnet here and this vpc is on 10 dot series 10 dot 1 i'll put this is on 192 168 okay so 10 10 dot 1 create enable dns hostnames subnet Ten dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. I don't require the second one. Anyway, I'll, I'll just will. I'm fine with one subnet because East US Internet Gateway one attached to East US VPC. Then route table create go to route table everything to internet gateway which from which subnet all the subnets then now <coughs> come to security group create security group one under VPC then inbound rules <coughs> ICMP means ping from anywhere SSH from my system that's it this part is done now go to EC2 instance just deploy the Linux server t2 micro is fine right and one VPC 
and I have only one subnet. I need a public IP. What is IP? We'll get 10.1.1.100. Then I need to give 100. Next. Security groups. The one which we have created. Okay. Launch. Same key. Launch the instance. Done. East US configuration is done. Means go to the picture. This is done. I still need to configure this. So let's do it quickly. US West open in new tab. Okay, VPC in <coughs> West West US one. No VPC is nothing. Again, you have to create VPC in West US. One ninety two one sixty eight zero dot zero slash sixteen. Done. DNS host names. Close. Okay, subnet. Create. West US subnet one. One ninety two one sixty eight one dot zero slash twenty four. This is the subnet. Done. Create one more internet gateway. Let's use internet gateway. Attach VPC. Done. Go to route table and create route table under that VPC done so route table go to routes add everything to internet gateway which we have created and subnet associations subnet <coughs> done now come to security groups CVS security group one under VPC inbound rules again ping SSH. Okay, safe. Done. So VPC part is done on the West US as well. Now I'll go to EC2 for West US. Launch instance. Same. I'll select. I'll select T2 micro. One instance, I need a public IP. One ninety two, one sixty eight, one dot hundred. Eight GB storage. Network security group, which we have created. Next launch. You don't have a key pair. Okay, means for each location there is a separate key pair you need to maintain. Okay. 
West US. Download the key pair, it will download and launch instance. Okay, so instance has been deployed. Let's wait. So meanwhile, what I need, I need key pair to connect, right? So let me keep it ready. Downloads. Let me delete this. These are the key pairs. AWS keys. Paste it here. I need PK file for this as well. So how to generate? Let's see. Softwares. This is this I need. And load the private key. AWS keys. This one. Save as. AWS H1T store West US. Then close. So go to download AWS keys. You have two PPK files now. I'll rename this underscore East US. Okay. Otherwise, it's hard to remember. We have two different set of keys. Let me delete this. Okay. So now everything is ready let's access it copy this ec2 hyphen user server name and provide the key which key we need to provide west us one right so browse aws keys west us open See, directly locked in. Change settings. settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So this is West US machine. Let me log in into East US machine as well. So this is East US machine. Copy. EC2 hyphen user. Okay. And <clears throat> what is the key? This time I need to select East US key. Yes. Right. So now you're into root on both. So what is the IP? IF config. It's fine. Anyway, it is showing up here only. 10.1.1.100. Right. This is East US machine. This is West US machine. Now, <clears throat> I want to establish a connectivity between these two. Initially, if you ping them, ping 10.1.1.100. Ping 10.1.1.100. Right? And no response, right? From both. Okay, now what to do? You need to establish a peering connection between these two. 
go to East US. VPC. Also go to West US. VPC. <coughs> In East, in East US VPC, what I'm doing, go to peering connections, create a peering connection, East US to West US. Who is the requester? <clears throat> East US VPC is the requester. From here, okay, select another VPC to peer with, within your account or someone else's account. Yes, someone else's account, you can peer it. If you have an account, you give me your account ID and you give me on which region you have the resources and I will establish a peering connection so that my network, my VPC and your VPC will have a peering connection and both the VPCs can talk to each other over the private network even if you have a two different accounts. Okay, in our situation, within account only. In this scenario, within account only, but not within the region, in another region. Yesterday, we tested within the region. Today, we're testing another region. Okay, so what is that another region? West US one. VPC acceptor. Who is that VPC acceptor? Who is this VPC acceptor? Go to VPC console on West US. VPC copy this VPC ID he is the acceptor <clears throat> right he is the acceptor he is the requester and West US VPC is the acceptor create a peering connection done a VPC peering connection has been requested remember to change the region to West US to accept the peering connection fine so I need to change to West US, go to peering connections, you will see one pending acceptance. Okay, you can give a name, West US to East US peering. Okay. Now select the VPC, uh, VPC pending connection appearing connection accept the request accept before that let's see if they have started pinging or not no right so once you accept it they should start pinging done so correction is provisioning they will not connection is provisioning Still, we need to do small steps. Now, let's understand this. Yesterday also I did, I didn't explain the what I did on the connectivity part. Take VPC and take another VPC. Two VPCs are there, right? Now, in this VPC, I have only one subnet today. In today's scenario, we have only one subnet on each. And I have deployed one machine on both. Normally, <coughs> without, without peering connection, how I connected? I have internet gateway here. Internet gateway here. Right? My traffic is going via internet gateway and I logged in like this on both okay so there is a route table here right in route table what I have mentioned in route table there is another route table here as well in route table what I have mentioned let's go and review same go to refresh connection is active you're you're unable to ping the machines if you look at okay so go to route table the 
manually created route table and I'm talking about East US. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm in West US. Fine. Anyway, so in West US, there is a subnet. Which subnet? Only one subnet is there. Okay. And routes, I said, from this subnet. From this subnet means this is VPC 192.168.0.0 slash 16. And this is subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24. I said from this subnet, inside this subnet, you can place 200 plus VMs, 250 VMs, let's say. So from this subnet, everything must go to Internet Gateway. That is the route I just added. If you go to routes, 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 slash zero to internet gateway means please close your eyes and send everything to internet gateway that is what we mentioned in both the cases okay but now from this machine to this machine i'm trying to send a data over private network so i need to change the route in such a way so that it won't go to internet gateway what kind of changes I need to make? 10.1.1.0 slash 24. So I have created one VPC connection here. One VPC connection here. Peering connection. I'll, I'll call it as peering connection between two VPCs. Okay. So peering is already established. Now in this route table, first line is send everything to internet gateway. Fine. I need to add one more thing. If this subnet means this subnet is trying to access this subnet means this subnet. So the traffic should go to here. It should not go to internet gateway. So for this, I need to add a route here to peering connection add a route to peering connection first first route is route to peering connection on both you need to add route to peering connection on both the sides like this means if this subnet means any any server within this range is trying to access 10.1.1.0 slash 24 machines means within the subnet machine so please close your eyes and send the data to peering connections don't send anything to internet gateway that is what the route meaning is <coughs> so how to add this route i'll add this route in west us first go to i am already on west us right go to edit routes and <coughs> what is the destination for west us east us is the destination what kind of 10.1.1.0/24 if you are sending data to this subnet please close your eyes and send it to peering connection which we have created west us to east us peering connection save Then let's see. This is added. Not pinging. That's fine. So let's go to East US as well. Close. Go to route table. East US routes. Add routes. 192. 168 1.0 slash 24 that is the destination peering connection is east us to west us connection the same name save now once the connection is saved you see both are started pinging 
Understood? Right? <clears throat> okay. Any questions up to this? What we tested yesterday, we tested within the VPC, uh, sorry, within the region, and today we tested across the region. Any questions on both? Hello. <clears throat> I see there. Yes, yes. No questions? For the moment, no. Hmm? For the moment, I have no question. Okay. Madhuri, you're getting something or it's it's more of confusion? Uh, no, no, sir. I understood. Okay. So we we just we tested two different things. Let's put a scenario together. Okay. In which situation these kind of pairings will <clears throat> in which situation these kind of PPC pairing be established. So imagine you have small startup. Okay. So you can create a VPC in multiple regions, right? Possible, you can create a VPC in multiple regions or not? So let me build in a different way. <clears throat> so
it's okay leave it sometimes this won't respond fine so what i will do imagine from internet okay from your home you want, you want to access these machines <clears throat> how many machines you have let's say production east us sorry us east one this is production environment and development environment West US or US West one. Stage environment US East one. Okay. And management us west one <coughs> so what i will do from my in home internet uh, i will first connect to these machines via this internet gateway means let's say we'll assign some subnet to this okay so 192 168 0.0 slash .0 16 is the sub vnet and the subnet is 192 168 1.0 slash 24 is a subnet means for these two vms for these two vms there will be IP, let's say this is Linux machine, this is Windows machine. IP, IPs will be from this range, right? So, <clears throat> these two machines will have the public internet. And from here, what I will do? Hello, port 22 and 3389 for server access means anywhere not from my home or you can access from office as well okay from your office or home over the internet you will first connect it to these two machines any of these two machines okay you or your employees whoever now can i have a peering connections between all of them possible right so i will have a peering connection i will have a peering connection and i'll have a peering connection okay so from from the peering connections what i will say all ssh and rdp means port 22 and port 3389 load from 192 168 0 1.0 slash 24 to all three vpcs all three vpcs means let's say for this vpc 10.1.1.0 slash sorry 0.0 slash 16 and for this vpc the ip range is 10.2.0.0 slash 16 for this and for this 10.3.0.0 slash 16 so what i will do from 192 
I will establish pairing connection to all the three. This and this one location. This and this another location. This and this another location. Right? These two enter VPC. Right? This is enter VPC connection. This is intra VPC. This is also intra VPC. So, if someone want to access any of these machines to perform their day-to-day -day job as an employee, right? So first they have to connect to one of these jump boxes. From here, these servers will be accessible. Understand? You cannot directly go and connect to these machines. So from from the internet i have blocked it means over the internet over the internet i cannot directly connect to these machines it is blocked means on this internet gateway i haven't allowed dna or i haven't allowed port 22 and 3389 Guys, able to understand or confusion? So, this way, all my production, development, and staging environments are protected from the internet. So, these machines are not exposed to internet, and these two machines are exposed to internet. Anyone can access these machines. Still, if these machines are hacked, your, your actual business systems are safe in this way clear or any confusion imagine i have this setup now this and this already in place 192 is there west us 10 dot series is there 10 dot 1 east us one machine is there inside one machine is there inside now i am saying boss i will block internet access to this machine now how I logged into this machine? How I logged into this machine? How I logged in? Let me go back to portal EC2. Right? This is instance right it has the public ip so i don't want <coughs> assign public IP. even though if a public ip is there so what i will do i'll go to vpc security groups go to security group I said inbound rules edit SSH from my SSH from my IP I'll remove this I'll say SSH from 192.168.0.0 slash 16 means from management subnet or management server only means you cannot SSH from internet only you can SSH from this range where is this range this from here you can SSH okay if, if the request came in from this range it will accept otherwise it won't accept we'll save right now what is this? This is the server, right? Mm, this is my This is 
jump box. This is jump box. Look at the IP on 92 series, right? This blue one is my production server. So if I close the connection, currently I logged in, that is why it is working. If I close the connection and try to access once again, ec2 hyphen user at the rate what is the server ip ec2 this is the server right and key is to us key but you will get a timeout because it is not allowed from the it is not allowed from the internet it is only allowed from this box it is not allowed from the internet same thing if i ping see timeout same thing if i ping from inside ping 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 100 it's pinging okay so ssh 10 dot ec2 hyphen user one second uh, root right okay vi login dot pem i need a key right so insert this is the key to login okay so ssh ec2 hyphen user at the rate 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot Hundred hyphen okay, just I forgot this Let's <clears throat> Hello. Yeah. Sir, you can continue. I am leaving the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some, just a minute. Yeah, you can drop off. What, what I'll do is I'll. Uh... You can share the video. No problem. Yeah. yeah. You can continue. Okay. Bye bye. Yes. Permission denied. I need to provide that key. Just a minute.
just a moment. Okay, the syntax is SSH hyphen I space slash root slash login dot pem <clears throat> and then give the IP address. Okay, LS hyphen LTR. Try to log in. Four, fine. So each more. 400 no see no logged in <clears throat> what happened you should not give the permission to everyone or it is it is required that your private key files are not accessible by others this private key will be ignored load the key bad permissions i gave the highest permissions i should not give again i change mode to 400 then i'll be able to log in from 192, 160 at 1 .100 to now I logged into 10.1.1.100 .1 means first first I logged in from my home to this Linux machine and from here I logged into this Linux machine but when I'm trying to access it from internet it's blocked understand Any questions? This is one scenario where you will use your VPC peering connections regularly and we can discuss more scenarios if you are interested I will explain <coughs> tomorrow or else tomorrow we will test the NAT gateway. Okay, so let me stop here. <coughs>